So your people have plenty of expertise and information to share with your customers and clients and you know that they will be really good on video. But whether they're presenting to camera, they're using autocue or being interviewed, what are the tips and tricks you need to know to make the best possible Talking Heads video? One person talking for ages can get a bit dull. So you might want to think about having several people in your video and cutting between them in short clips. If you only have one presenter, there are a couple of things you can do. Firstly, film both a wider shot and a closer shot so that you can cut between the two for a bit of variety. Or alternatively, you could have two cameras set up so that you can cut to the shot from the side as an alternative. Another way of making it easier for the presenter is if you use cutaways or B-roll. These are shots that are filmed perhaps around the location, around the business. So if, for example, your presenter makes a mistake, you can simply cut that out and cover the join with some shots of other things. And ideally, these shots will be supporting what they're saying, so they will all add to the story. Let me give you an idea of what you can do if you haven't got a lot of time and perhaps you haven't got a lot of options for cutaways. One of our clients asked us to make 14 recruitment films and to film them all in one day. So we knew that we would just about have enough time to interview each of the people we were going to speak to. What we did was take a second camera with us and get shots of the crew so that you could see how the videos were put together. It gives you a little sense of behind the scene and brings the films to life. Having said all that, these days it's really on trend to do what's called jump cutting, which means that the editor would choose to take out words that he doesn't really fancy instead of covering the join with cutaways. In this example you'll see here is a video that we made for Nottingham Trent University in which we interviewed a number of students, but we decided to make jump cutting a feature of the edit style. That combined with the colour grading gave the video a really contemporary look. These are just a few techniques that you can use if you're making your own Talking Heads video. If you'd like any more help and advice, do get in contact.